iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm your host Rashad. I'm here to show you how to configure remote desktop on Server 2008 R2. I just did a clean install of Server 2008, and um, we want to go to our server manager. Right here is configure remote desktop. You will click. Okay, we have three options here. The default is don't allow connection to this computer. And then the next one is allow any version of remote desktop. That's like using remote desktop from an Apple computer or Linux or a different program. And then the third one is to only use the secure ones that like the ones that are used by Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. If you expect other users like Mac users or anyone else to use remote desktop, you should click on the second one. But you always can come back and change it. So I'll press apply and press OK. All right. If you don't know your service IP address, we will go ahead and go get it real quick. You go to start, command prompt. We're going to go ahead and put in IP config. Okay, here's my service IP address. Now I'm going to go to the client since I have my service IP address. Okay, I'm on my client's machine. It's a Windows 7 machine. So we want to go ahead and go to start. We want to go ahead and go to remote desktop. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put our service IP address in here. We're going to press connect. Now it's asking for user credentials. Right now, since I just created that server, the only username I have is administrator. So I'm going to put administrator in. Um, you can set this to allow only certain users and stuff like that. I will show you that in a little while. So right now I'm just going to use administrator because that's the only user I have. All right, this should come up. You can go ahead and say don't ask again. And then you can press yes. All right, we're in the remote desktop to the server now. I'm actually still on the client machine, as you can see. See up here, you can minimize it. And see, I'm still on the client machine. And here goes the remote desktop. This is how it looks. And now you can do practically anything on the server that you need to do with whatever access you have, user access you have. I'm the administrator, so I can do anything that I need to do since I'm the administrator. Now we're going to go back to our server, which was logged in as administrator. So since I logged in remotely as administrator, it's going to log me out on the server. It's going to log me out of the administrative account on the server. You only can be logged in as one person. So now I'm going to go back to the server. And as you can see, I'm logged out right now. So I'm going to put control out delete. And now it shows you that this administrator account and it says logged on remotely from the other computer. So now I'm just going to sign back in. If once I sign back in, it's going to log me out of my client machine. Okay, now I'm back on the server and I'm logged in as administrator. And you see nothing has changed. It hasn't changed any windows. It's still open. We just switched over. So now I'm going to go back to my client machine. It's going to show us an error. And here goes the area your remote desktop has ended. So we're going to go ahead and press OK. OK, and let's take us back here. Now I want to show you one more thing. I want to show you how to restrict certain users to remote have remote access to the server. You will want to do this because you don't want everybody to be able to have a remote connection to the server. Even if they didn't know the password, we still want to limit certain users or IP addresses. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the server. And now we're going to configure our firewall. So we're going to go to Windows Firewall. We're going to open this up. We're going to go to Inbound Rules, Filter by Group, and we're going down to Remote Desktop. All right, we're going to go to this second option right here. 
We're going to double click. All right. Now they have a couple ways to restrict users. We can do by computers. We can put the computer names in here. We can put by users. We can put the usernames by here. But I'm going to go ahead and use the scope. The scope is the IP addresses. So I just want to tie it to this one IP address. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go down here to remote IP addresses. And we're just going to put a random IP address in here. Okay. So this means only allow these addresses. This address doesn't exist on my network. So that means that no computer should be able to connect unless they have this IP address. So this should block all users from that, that does that don't have this IP address to remote desktop. So I'm going to press apply. And we're, now we're going to go back to our client machine. Okay, now we're back at the client machine. Now we're going to try to connect again. Eventually it will time out and you will get this error message. All right, so we're going to press OK. Now we need to go ahead and get the IP address of this client machine. So we go back. We're going to go, go to the command line. We're going to put IP config in again. All right, we're going to get the IP address of this client machine. Now we're going to go back to the server. And we're going to say we're going to allow this IP address now. So we're going, we're going to allow the client to be able to connect. All right, we're going to go back to our firewall settings. We're going to double click. We're going to go to the scope. We're going to go ahead and edit this one. We don't even need to create another one. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that you can even make a range of IP addresses. So a range of IP addresses that you want to be able to come in here. So we're going to go ahead and put the IP address of our client machine in there. Press OK. Now this means the only computer that connect remotely is our client machine now because this our client machine is the only one that has this IP address. So we press apply. OK. Now we're going to go back to our client machine and see if we can connect again. So we're going to press OK and go back to the, the client machine. All right, we're back at the client machine. We're going to go ahead and minimize. We're going to go ahead and connect. And bam, we're back be able to, to, to log into to the server remotely. So we go ahead and put a password back in. Bam, we're back in the server remotely. Now once again, I tell you, it's going to log you out of the server because we're using the same username. So we'll go ahead and we can check it again. And as you can see, we're logged out again. So let's go back to the client machine. Now we're on our client machine and everything's running and, and working well. This is a basic configuration of a remote desktop. I'm Rashad, the IT Geek. Thanks for watching.